Hey guys, my name's Dib Mani and I'm from Aussie Mail. Welcome to our Chainmail tutorial channel. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad to see everyone here. Today I'm going to do a weave demonstration. The weave is called Mermaid Tail and it's a variation of the Dragon Tail weave. Alright guys, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so here are some sample sizes in the various gauges in the weave today. I'll quickly run through these for you here, but they'll also the sizes will also be available down in the description section below the video if you need to look them up. Okay, starting here on our left, this is a 1.6 millimeter diameter wire or 14 gauge AWG. Now the bright aluminium the large rings on the outside, they've got an ID of 9mm and the anodized rings on the inside, they've got an ID of a quarter inch or 6.35mm. 1.2mm diameter wire which is 16 gauge AWG, um, again the bright aluminium is 7mm and the anodized aluminium is 3 sixteenths of an inch or 4.76mm. Our um, one mil or 18 gauge AWG version, the bright aluminium is 5.75 millimeters and the anodized aluminium is 5.30 seconds of an inch or 3.97 millimeters. And finally, uh, the 0 0.8 millimeter wire or 20 gauge AWG, the uh, bright aluminium is 4.75 millimeters and the anodized aluminium is one eighth of an inch or 3.18 millimeters. So those were the sizes that I found worked best. You could do a slight variation on these sizes. There is a little bit of wriggle room, but not a great deal. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate in the 14 gauge rings just because they're a little bit easier for you guys to see. Okay, so the basis of this weave, as I said, is dragon tail. So we'll be starting with a piece of um, that weave first. So to do this, you'll need to pre-close your smaller rings. So in this case, these are the 14 gauge, a quarter inch or 6.35 millimeter ID rings. So go ahead and close up a bunch of those. And then once you've done that, start this weave, we want to, take one of our large rings okay so this is the nine millimeter ID ring and we're going to take two of these initially and we're going to pop a pre-closed ring on each so we want two of these units prepared to start with so just taking a large ring popping on the small ring and closing them up okay so once we've got these two units prepared we want to place these so that our second large bright aluminium ring sits over the top of the small anodized aluminium ring on our other unit okay and we want our second ring to ultimately be down here on the bottom um, if you've made my dragon tail tutorial up before you'll see that I normally have this sitting up the top but for this particular variation of the weave uh, the designer seems to have had it sitting down the bottom so that's what I'm going to do for this okay so once you've got those two in place and you're just holding on to them you're going to want to take up another opened large ring and we want to feed it through our first aluminium ring here trapping the bright aluminium ring that's sitting on top of it in place. So we want it to go over the top of the bright aluminium ring but through the anodized ring. And that all locks all those rings in place. Before we do that though, we need to pop on a pre-closed ring. Okay. And then we want to position our work so that, as I said, all those anodized aluminium rings stack up underneath each other. So our bright aluminium rings stack up on top and our anodized aluminium rings stack up underneath. Okay, and that's basically 
the step for the rest of the dragon tail portion of this weave. Okay, so we've got our next ring that we're going to place, which is just another large ring with a pre-closed ring threaded on it. You can thread that on now, or you can thread it after you've placed the large ring, it's up to you. Now, where we wanna place this ring is we want to go through not our endmost bright aluminium ring, not this one that's loose on the end, but the next one in, the one that's encircled by our previously placed bright aluminium ring. Okay, so here's the last bright aluminium ring we placed, and we want to feed our next bright aluminium ring through that AA one there that it encircles. Make sure that all our anodized aluminium rings are stacking up underneath, okay? And we're going to put this in over the top, just straight through that second last AA ring, and then we're going to close that up. Okay. Again, reposition your anodized rings so that they all fall into the same, into the correct positioning. That is that they're stacking up underneath each other. Okay, so this is what your weave currently looks like. And as I said, you just keep adding those extra rings as we have been. Pop on your pre-closed ring. Make sure all your AA rings are in position, that is they're stacking up underneath the previous ring and we just want to go through not this one here on the end but the next one the one that's encircled by our last bright aluminium ring okay making sure that everything else is in position feed your bright aluminium ring through that anodized one and close it up okay so if you just want to go ahead and continue doing that and for the length of your bracelet so as i said that is your dragon tail weave. And um, we're going to go just one step further to turn it into mermaid tail. So you go ahead and keep adding rings like we have been for the length of your bracelet. And I will meet you back here and I will go over our next step. Okay, so you've got your dragon tail section woven for the length that you require it to be. And now we want to turn it into mermaid tail. So to do this, I'm going to actually flip the work over to the other side. So this is the side that we were working on with the bright aluminium rings stacking up on top of each other from left to right. Now I'm going to actually flip it over. So our bright aluminium rings are now stacking underneath from left to right or on top of each other from right to left, whichever you prefer. So this is the side that I'm actually now going to work on. And to do this, I'm going back to the beginning of our weave. And I'm going to take up another one of our anodized aluminium rings. So up through the back of this, of this ring here. So this is the third ring in the weave. Okay, up through the back of that. And then I'm going to take it down through the front of our previous ring. Also through the anodized aluminium ring at the same time. So this one we're just coming up through the back of the bright aluminium ring. But this one we're going down through the front of both the bright and the anodized aluminium ring. Okay, so what that actually looks like, as I said, go straight through the back of that, turn it around, come down through the front of the previous ring, and then just close it up. Okay, and that's what your work should be looking like. So we're just going to do that now for the rest of the bracelet. So again, taking out an open ring. I'm going to go down to the next free ring. So this is the first one that we started with. I'm going to go down to the next one. This is the one I'm going to go up through the back of, of just the bright aluminium ring, turn my ring around and come down and go through both the anodized and the bright aluminium ring in my previous ring. And then just close that up. And there you go. So you just keep doing that for the length of your bracelet and you will have mermaid tail. So again, move down to our next ring in the sequence. We go up through the back of that one, down through the front of the previous ring, making sure we pick up both the aluminium and the bright aluminium ring and close it up. Okay, 
super simple. Through our next one and down through the front of the previous one. Okay, show you once more. Through, up through the back of our new one, turn it around and come down through the front of the previous pair, making sure I pick up both the AA and the BA rings in there and close it up. So there you go guys, that's how you turn dragon tail into mermaid tail. You just keep doing that until you finish for the length of your bracelet. Now to finish off the bracelet, what I would suggest, I don't have a smaller ring here with me at the moment, but what I would suggest is perhaps either using this ring that's already here that's hanging on the end or swapping it out for a smaller ring, but I would just pick up both of those rings. So previously it was just going through the anodized aluminium ring. I would change that and put it through both the anodized and uh, the bright aluminium ring. So you may want to do that, as I said, with a smaller ring, or you may just want to leave that bigger ring on it. But that's the way that I would finish and start that weave off. Well, there you go, guys. That's the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it and it adds yet another weave to your repertoire. If you did like the video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up here on YouTube, share the video, leave any comments or questions you may have down below in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. Um, while you're here, check out some of our other videos that we've got. We've got over about 160 videos at time of recording. So you're sure to find something that you like. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, then please consider doing so. It really does help us and it will enable us to keep doing these videos for you in the future. Um, and last but not least, don't forget to check out our shop link up here in the corner where we sell all the bits and bobs that you need to make this uh, weave up and many others. Alright guys, thanks again for taking time out of your day and spending it with me. And I hope we'll catch you again sometime in the very near future. Bye!